All right, come with me uh, on a journey to Chatfield State Park to look for these cool oyster mushrooms, Hygienus pleurotus. Uh, here's one I saw earlier in the season. We're looking for Phoenix oyster mushrooms, Pleurotus pulmonarius. They grow lower elevations on these dying cottonwoods. But uh, let's start out here. Um, we're greeted with a pretty dismal sight here with all this mullein. The Army Corps of Engineers flooded Chatfield State Park and it's created this crazy monoculture of mullein. Uh, it's super invasive, as probably a lot of you may well know. Um, some people refer to this as cowboy toilet paper. Herbalists love it for me its medicinal value, value, but it's very invasive here. And uh, it will be interesting to see what Chatfield ends up doing with this because uh, it is super invasive. But not to fear, we have some cool native plants here. There's a little mason bee on that one. That's genus Deuteria. Um, I believe. I, I really don't. I think that's a tansy aster. Here, Here's another aster, obviously. Um, genus Symphiotrichum. Um, yeah, cool little <coughs> native plants. Uh, this might even be a, a species that's kind of endemic to the southwest here. Okay, here we got our first mushroom. Um, it's not an oyster mushroom. But uh, I do believe this is, it, it, it seemed like a shaggy parasol at first, but uh, it had these green spores, which is indicative of a, of a pretty poisonous mushroom. Um, and it's a, it's a false parasol. So here's some more photos of some younger mushrooms. Here's, uh, you can kind of see the green. It's a little bit faint, but uh, it, it's going to be a false parasol mushroom. Here's some more pictures of the gills. Uh, and let's get into this little field book here. Green spore mushroom. Okay, false parasol. Uh, it is poisonous, as you could tell, if that is what it is. It might just be a shaggy parasol. Who knows? Okay, here was earlier in the season. This protus was way up high in this dead cottonwood tree. Here's a better photo. Here's another one I saw close to my house. They love these dead cottonwood trees. Um, the Phoenix oyster grows at lower elevations. But, uh, okay, back to Chatfield State Park. Uh, I did end up seeing one in this dead cottonwood, but it had already um, kind of kind of uh, gotten way too old for any, any valuable tissue culture. It had already um, kind of desiccated. So you're, what we're looking for are these dead cottonwoods. And when they flooded Chatfield, um, some of those dead cottonwoods